Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. And I'm gonna be answering a question that I, I get posed to, to me every now and then, sometimes through you know Facebook messages, emails. Uh, YouTube comments and so forth. Um, I'll get asked like, you know, sometimes um, what kind of accessories I'm using, picks, strings, cables, right? And I just want to tell you guys about the cables that I'm using and have been using recently. It's by an amazing company called Klotz out of Germany. And these guys are just a fabulous cable company. Uh, my first introduction to them was three years ago, I think, at NAMM. Uh, my good friend Martin Motnick, who is a absolutely a spectacular bass player. Uh, he has uh, a website up, uh, studiobassist.com, I believe it is. I'll put the uh, link in the, in the description below. Uh, if you ever need any uh, bass lines done, he's just a fabulous uh, bass player, a fabulous guy. But he introduced me to them at NAMM and, and the, the folks at Klotz were kind enough to, to give me a complimentary uh, guitar cable. Uh, and I just love this thing. I've been using it for like two and a half years. It's held up, it's durable, it's just built so well. And I really like these guys. And recently, uh, my other good friend, Steve Sterlachi, um, put me in touch with them as he also uses them and just sung their praises and, and couldn't say enough good things. And I said, yeah, you know, I've used them too. And I was always really happy with them. So. I'm now using them on, a, on a, a little bit more of a formal basis, and they were kind enough to send me some cables to try out, uh, more than just the one guitar cable I had. And I wanted to show you guys some of them, uh, especially since some of them will be of interest to a lot of the folks in the Line 6 community. Okay, first of all, um, their Variax cable right here, uh, if you can see. They make probably the best uh, Variax cable that you can have for uh, data transmission, okay? You know, the, um, the connectors for that, if you can see that in focus, hopefully, oftentimes the problem is, is they break quite easily because they're made of plastic, but what Klotz has done is they've put it into a sort of microphone XLR style enclosure made of solid metal. But the cabling itself is so flexible and such good quality, you can tell right away. Um, these are very road worthy, they're going to last and they just work wonderfully, okay? So the, the Klotz folks have so many amazing cables available. You know, here's another of their high-end microphone cables. And again, just a really heavy duty cable, uh, very flexible and you can just tell the quality is there. Um, pretty much any cable that you would need they're going to have. I'm gonna put their website up in the description. Please go check them out. Uh, one other thing I love about their guitar cables is you can get them with the Nutric silent plugs. I'm not sure if any of you folks are familiar with that. I'm sure some of you are, but they're just amazing because they have a little switch in them if you can see right here that when you plug it in, it engages the signal into the cable, but when you unplug it, it instantly goes silent. So you don't have to mute your pedal board or you know, turn your tuner on to, to mute things. You can just unplug and there will be no noise. It's awesome, awesome uh, ends. I, I've used those a lot. So those are the Nutrix silent plugs available on the Klotz cables. And again, same quality cable, really, really incredibly uh, flexible and supple cable but but very rugged and and stands uh, you know the tests of, of the road uh, that we might put them through and the other one i'm using here is their joe bonamass a signature uh, pedal patcher uh really amazing i'm, I'm currently wiring up uh, my hx stomp board with my temple audio board and a few products from mission engineering my friends over there and i'm going to be wiring it up completely with Klotz cables and again really nice and flexible but real real top quality patcher you know sometimes we can get some of these uh patchers that are real flimsy and break really easily i, I don't get the impression these would break very easily very road worthy so so anyways, that's just a few of the cables that I'm using from them, but please go check out um, their website. They've got a great directory of all their products up there. You can search uh, based off different criteria. Um, and it, it's a really well thought out website and an amazing product that I'm really happy to put my name behind and use. And a really nice group of fellas too. So a little bit of a different video. I just wanted to let you guys uh, know about that. 
because I have had a few questions in the past about that and I figured I would answer that and show you where you can go to get some of the cables that I'm working with. So if you're wiring up a pedal board or your studio or microphones or uh, Variax, uh, you name it, uh, whatever you're using, definitely give the folks at Klotz a chance to supply you with your cables. I'm very happy with them and I only use things that I'm happy with um, that are going to be roadworthy, that sound good, that uh, that are going to, to last and the qualities there because the last thing we need is for these things to be breaking down at any point uh, at a crucial moment in a live or studio situation, right? Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna be back soon with some more of my normal content, uh, guitar-based, uh, helix-based ideas and some uh, performances. Uh, I'm also gonna have a new Marketplace pack coming up pretty soon, so I'll let you guys know about that. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Share the video, like it if you don't mind, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, go give my friends over at Klotz a look and uh, maybe grab some uh, cables for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao for now.